It's my extreme honor and privilege to be here this evening. I'm Ned Blackhawk, um, the author of The Rediscovery of America, Native Peoples and the Unmaking of U.S. History, which begins, how can a nation founded on the homelands of dispossessed indigenous peoples be the world's most exemplary democracy? This question haunts America. If history provides the common soil for a nation's growth and a window into its future, it is time to reimagine U.S. history outside the tropes of discovery. For centuries, America and the New World have been ideas, synonyms that convey a sense of wonder and possibility made manifest by discovery, a historical act in which explorers are the protagonists. They are its actors and subjects. They think and name, conquer and settle, govern and own. Indigenous absence has been a long tradition of American historical analysis. Building upon a generation of recent scholarship, this book draws upon an outpouring of study that has made indigenous history a growing field. Its argument is simple. A full telling of American history must account for the dynamics of struggle, survival, and resurgence that frame America's indigenous past. Existing paradigms of US history remain incomplete when they fail to engage Native America. Notwithstanding its growth, Native American history remains encumbered by many challenges. The habits of previous generations remain calcified. College textbooks, campuses, public memorials continue to exclude Native people. A reorientation of U.S. history is needed for many reasons. We need to build a more inclusive narrative, and this cannot be accomplished by simply adding new cast members to the dramas of the past. Our history must reckon with the fact that indigenous peoples, African Americans, and millions of other non-white citizens have not enjoyed the self-evident truths of equality, life, and liberty proclaimed at the founding. Native peoples were not granted US citizenship until 1924, by which time the federal government had seized hundreds of millions of acres of land from Native nations and over 300 treaties. Tens of thousands of Native peoples were killed by settler militias and U.S. armed forces during the Civil War era, and government-sponsored campaigns of child removal resulted in 40% of Indian children forcibly separated from their families and taken to boarding schools by 1928. Pervasive violence and dispossession are more than mere sidebars or parentheses in American history they call into question its central thesis. The exclusion of Native Americans was codified into the Constitution, maintained throughout the antebellum era, and legislated into the 20th century. And far from being incidental, it enabled the development of the United States. U.S. history as we currently know it does not account for the centrality of Native Americans. In the American Book of Genesis, we are told in a recent best-selling history of the United States, Liberty and slavery became the American Cain and Abel. But can we imagine an American Eden that is not cultivated by its indigenous caretakers? Exiled from the American origin story, Native peoples await the telling of a history that includes them. It was their garden homelands, after all, that birthed America. 